Did your account get reset? Did you lose all your money? Did you lose your property? Did you get a copyright strike on your YouTube channel? My name is Jack Knight Finnegan, guys. I cover all Grand Theft Auto 5. I've been covering Grand Theft Auto on this channel since it ever started. You can check the records. I've been on GTA 5 a good part of my YouTube career. And I know I usually come at you guys from a different angle. I say, my name is Jack Knight. Hit the like, hit the sub. If you do hit the like, I appreciate it. If you do sub, I appreciate it. But this hits home, all right? Let me tell you what I'm talking about. I'm a grinder. I'm a grinder. I have a grinding community. I have a money game that we all make money across PC, Xbox, and PS4, right? Okay. A lot of my people came into my stream. They commented, Jack, my account's reset. I have nothing. I've grinded four years. I got nothing. I grinded seven years. I got nothing. Okay? And this is Rockstar's response to why everybody lost their account. It says, question. Why did I receive an alert when joining GTA Online saying that my character progress was reset? Answer. Players found to be manipulating or abusing property trade-ins to gain GTA money illegitimately have had affected characters reset. As part of our ongoing efforts to maintain a healthy game environment for all players, anyone found to be abusing exploits and cheats to illegitimately gain GTA money and in-game items may be sub subject to penalties including cash balance adjustments, character resets, suspensions and up to permanent bans as appropriate okay as appropriate okay this is a seven year old game rockstar this is a seven year old game the fact that we're still playing it till this day and it's as popular as it is today you go on twitch you go on youtube you go on any social platform in this goddamn game grand theft auto 5 is still beating games that are coming out tomorrow Games that are coming out today. We are dominating every fucking video game market out there, right? Right? Rockstar Games is, right? That's because of us. That's because of fucking Jack Knight Finnegan. That's because, look at the fucking guy in the right corner. JK fucking Gamers. If you don't know who he is, you've been sleeping. Alright? That's because of the professional. That's because of fucking all of us putting, doing our part, doing our, dil, our due diligence... And bringing this game to everybody and everyone who loves Grand Theft Auto 5. Because the reality is, we love Rockstar Games. We love Grand Theft Auto 5. We love Grand Theft Auto. That's our game. That's our release. That's what we do. And then, to log in after a long day of work, or dealing with this COVID shit, or your wife on your ass, or your kids fucking screaming, you sit down on your couch, you get a fucking beer, you sit down, you load up your game, all of a sudden, you've been banned. Your account's been reset. You're you're creating your character all over again. You restart the game because you think the game's fucking stupid because the goddamn servers are bullshit. So you restart it. You're like, there's something wrong with this thing, right? And then you get a picture. You get a memo. Your account's been reset. You just want to sit down and play a fucking game that you've been playing for seven years, four years, a year, maybe a month, okay? And they do this shit. They take this. What they don't understand is when they say permanent bans as appropriate, they should take into consideration how long you played that fucking game. If you played that game for seven years, it should be a money wipe. That's it. That's fucking it. A money wipe. You don't take all their fucking properties, their fucking cars, their clothes. You don't take their fucking level that they grinded. Because let's keep it real, guys. They didn't glitch the time. They didn't glitch seven fucking years. You can't glitch time. Time, it takes time, and God forbid they found a way to not buy a $100 shark card, because a $100 shark card don't buy fucking shit in that game, let's be real to each other, what does a $100, $100 shark card get you, fucking one car, maybe a property, and it's the shittiest property on the fucking game, and it's the dumbest goddamn car in the game, with shitty ass uploads, or shitty ass updates, that you can add to the car, you're like, you're not even happy with the car that you get, after you spend $100 real money, what kind of a shark card fucking deal, deal is that? That's terrible. And then they find a way around it to make a large amount of money that they can buy the properties, they can buy the cards they want, they can buy the stuff that they want to continue to keep playing your fucking game. Right? They want to, they want to continue to play your game. So they try to advance themselves by buying all the cool shit, all the new shit that came out that they want, that they might not be able to get because they ain't got time 
to sit on a game and grind for fucking hours. Or they might not have the money to buy a fucking shark card to buy shit. Okay? Let's be real here. Let's be real here. Because this is bullshit. You know how fucking mad I got when I seen three people I know never glitched a fucking thing in their life. Never glitched, never did shit. Fucking reset. Banned. Banned. A fucking ban. And they never did shit. Are you fucking kidding me? And you're like, Jack, you're fuck. calm down, bro. Your account's fine. Yeah, my account's fine. Yeah, right now it's fine. I don't know if I log in any, if I log in right now, if it's gone. I don't fucking know. You know what I'm saying? And then you're thinking, well, Jack, you're fine. Okay, well, let me tell you this. All the people that got their account reset, all the people that got banned, put it down in the comments. In the fucking comments. Are you ever playing GTA 5 again? And if they say no, well, then that takes money out of my fucking pocket. That takes views out of my pocket. That takes views out of JK Gamers' pockets. That takes views out of everyone's pockets because that's what we fucking do. We bring you Grand Theft Auto content. That's what we do, okay? That's our part in the little fucking spot of life, okay? That's what we fucking do. And when you're fucking resetting all these people, taking them out of the fucking game, now you're fucking with us. You know what I'm saying? And we're not good people to fuck with because if you get on our side, we can easily turn shit around real fucking quick. And I'm being 100% with you. You know, you, you, you're, you could say, well, you know, Jack, you're not that big of an influence, bro. You don't know me. You don't know me, bro. I could set fire to a fucking village, bro. You don't know me. Trust me. JK Gamers, he's another guy who fights for people's fucking rights in this fucking game. And I, I respect that man. I respect the fuck out of that man. And he fights for everybody. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I, I appreciate that guy. You know, he, he might not be the grinder guy. He might do his own thing. That's cool. But he still fights and stands up for the fucking community when shit ain't right. When the shit ain't right. You know what I'm saying? And that's the type of people that I like. Those are the people that I stand behind. And I'm being 100% here. And I'm just mad. I'm fucking mad though. I'm just, I'm just so fucking irritated. Because... All I do is I go, when I'm streaming, I could be streaming Fortnite. I could be streaming Fall Guys. Jack, my, my account got reset. I got fucking DMs out the ass. DMs out the ass on my phone. My account got reset. I'm done. I'm done. I'm out of the crew, Jack. I'm out of the crew, Jack. I lost probably 40 fucking members out of the fucking crew. That are, that are not even going to do shit. And I know you're thinking 40 ain't shit, Jack. Well, it is. Because they have friends. They've got people that they know. So... It's fucking annoying. It's fucking stupid. And it's all because they want shark cards. They want to sell their shark cards. You should be fucking happy to sell a shark card after a seven-year game. Come on, man. Are you ridiculous? This is just stupid. And then I read in here this thing that says, healthy game environment. Go in any lobby. Go to any fucking lobby right now. Load up your game. Go to a lobby. Turn on in-game chat. You're going to hear... Fuck you, fuck this, fuck that. Orbital cannon, orbital cannon, orbital cannon. Fucking god mode, god mode. Even though they patch the god mode, we all know they're going to find another god mode glitch. They always do. They always do. But Rockstar does this. This is what Rockstar is doing when, when you find out that you can spam an orbital cannon. When they find out you get a god mode, this is what Rockstar does. They're like, well, I ain't seen it, bro. Oh, you had to buy money for a shark card to buy things? Uh, I didn't even know. I didn't even know that was in the game. But God forbid you go on and sell an apartment or garage over and over again. They're like, whoa, what the fuck? God damn it. We can't buy, God, we can't buy Johnny that fucking Maserati anymore. I know it's his 10th birthday, but Jesus Christ, we can't buy him that Maserati. You can't buy him that Maserati? No, I can't buy him the Maserati. What's going on? Oh, we're not selling shark cards. Why are we not selling shark cards? Because someone's glitched the fucking apartment. Oh, fucking get rid of them. Reset their account. Fuck that shit. I'm mad about it. I'm mad. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. I really want to know what you guys think. Am I over-exaggerating? Am I going nuts? Or am I right? Tell me. I really want to know. I want to have a real debate with you guys. Because this is bullshit. It's irritating. It's stupid. And I don't like it. And then I read, and then you read this stuff. And a lot of people, because, you know, a lot of people get, you know, copyright strikes too because they do give cars to friends and stuff. You know what I'm saying? They do all that stuff, and this is what happens to them. They don't get the cash balance adjustments. I didn't see a cash balance adjustment on anybody yet. Has anybody, comment in the comments, has anybody got a cash balance adjustment? I have not heard of one. 
All I've heard of is character resets. I don't even hear of suspensions. I don't even hear of suspensions. I hear character resets and permanent bans. That's all I hear. I don't hear cash balance adjustments, and I don't hear suspensions. If you guys got a cash balance adjustment, put it in the comments. If you got a suspension, put it in the comments, because I swear to God, you guys are rare. You guys are rare. All I've been hearing today and yesterday and the day before is character resets and permanent bans. So all I'm saying, guys, I'm not saying boycott rocks or I'm not saying any of that stuff. All I'm saying is take people's time and accountability, okay? Take people that spend seven years on this game and just wipe their money. Wipe their money. Give them their account back and wipe their money. That's all I'm saying. Take their time into the appropriate appropriate um, punishment. Take their time into consideration. Because not everything that they did was glitched. Not, not all their money was glitched. Not some of their properties were glitched. Not their time was glitched. Take that into consideration. And stop resetting people. And stop permanently banning people. Because it's a seven-year-old game and we're still playing it. Why don't you love us for that? Because we're still playing your game. Because there's a million games and a lot of them are coming out this year. That could easily, easily take GTA 5 down. But with that being said, if you guys liked the video, leave a like. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. I'm not going to push that on you. This is more of my feelings and how I feel about the situation. Uh, mainly designed for my community. If you did find this video, that's awesome. I appreciate it. But I made this for my community and everyone that rocks with me. You know, because they all want to know how I felt about it. So this is how I felt about it. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, turn on that post notification bell, all the yada yada YouTube stuff that people tell you. Uh, do all that fancy stuff and uh, leave a comment because I really want to know and I really want to talk to you because I, I appreciate you and I, re and I uh, admire your time and I value your time and I'm sorry that uh, these guys do not value your time, obviously, which another another video. Anyway, have a good day. I'm out of here. Peace. Peace out, guys.